My name is Ojo Isaac. I'm the manager of Presta Royal Concept, an accounting software company located in Keja, Lagos. This morning we have been we'll be looking at uh, how to post receipt with an element of part payment. A part payment receipt in a nutshell. How to post a part payment receipt. If you have an invoice of 50,000 and there is a receipt of uh, 10,000 on that invoice, it is a part payment. So how do you record it in Sage 50? So that is what we want to look at now. This is Sage 50. So we have an example here in our case study. This is it. Under this uh, 17, that is a diamond system. Diamond system made a part payment of 758,000 naira with check number uh, 157799 UBN, the Union Bank, for invoice number 004. So when you have such questions like this, how do you handle it? So this is what we want to look at now. So we go to C50, click on tax menu. On the tax menu, remember we are using receive money. We click on receive money. Then we'll click on um, the drop down arrow of uh, the customer ID. You select the customer name, which is a uh, diamond system. So immediately you click on diamond system. The amount due with display. Please let me inform you. If you want to post such transaction and you click on the mirror here and you select the right customer and there is no amount due displaying here, know that there is a mistake somewhere. You quickly have to trace back your step in order to make sure that you record it properly. So that is how to uh, check it. So what you do is to select, click on the drop down arrow, click select a diamond system, this amount will display. If this amount is not displaying here, there's a problem. It means that there is no invoice you are going to receive the check against. There is no invoice you are going to receive the check against. If you post it without receiving it, uh, receiving uh, the cash or check against a particular invoice, you just post a receipt. So it has no history, it has no attachment with any transaction. It means that you don't receive this money from the customer and the customer he, he has no business with you, he just gave you all that money. So that is how it is. Please make sure you check this very particular explanation that I'm giving to you now. Okay, so let's start begin check number look at the first boss here check slash reference number do we have it yes we are giving this is the check plus reference number so what we do now is uh, ubn that is in nigeria that it should be a uh, unibank of nigeria so one five six seven seven nine nine okay let's look at that one ubn u b sorry ubn one Five six seven seven nine nine. Okay, let's let me check the final figure there. Okay, five six seven seven nine nine. Okay, UBN. Okay, so that is it. So you will add, add zero at the front. Okay, so the seat number. If you know the where you stop, you can continue. But if you don't know, continue like this zero zero one nine. That is 19. This is my own receipt number. After that, the date you are receiving this very particular transaction. Yes, today, which is 17th of May 2003. Then the cash account, the ledger, the ledger that you want to post this very particular transaction to. When you receive um, cash from a customer, 
you know, the customer account will be what? What will happen? Is it debit or credit? When you receive a customer money, the cost, the cash account of that very particular customer, and the account of that very customer will be credit. Whereby your bank account, which is this, this is UBA or Zenith Bank, we use uh, Zenith Bank. So Zenith Bank, I'm posting this transaction into uh, Zenith Bank. So if I post this transaction into Zenith Bank, it means that the 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 the, the, the ledger, the Zenith Bank ledger will be debited. So that is how it's going to work. Okay. So after that. I will come to check, make payment method check. I will select check. Then I will now enter part payment, part, part payment for cruise supply. Okay, so press my tab key. So how much was paid? How much was the part payment? Part payment is 758000 So I will enter it under the amount paid. 758000 I will enter it under the amount paid. I press my tab key. This is it. So if I enter it here, it means that there will be some amount of money that will also will be reflecting here that is a uh, balance that I will see after I have posted this so I will need to post this and display it again for you to see that there's a reduction in that in the amount uh, due okay so how do we do it I will go to save or print or email as the case may be so in this case let me click on uh, save I'll save it. So because I've saved it now, that reflection or the transaction of the of the uh, part payment will appear there. So let me go back. I click on this uh, drop down, select diamond system. Let's see the balance. Okay, you can see 2.7. Look at this. Look at it. Amount view 2.7 is the balance. So with this, you will be able to know that you are posted rightly. So if you didn't see anything here, it probably you would have posted the total amount of money. You didn't consider the part payment. So this is how to post part payment receipt in 650. This is Ujo Azik, the manager of Presta Royal Concert. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our social media channel so that you can get more videos from us and you will richly be endowed with it. Thank you.